praise, the man with Jesus, for he is worthy to be praised. We come to you from New Liberty, Tabernacle of Praise, 924 East Broad Street, Gaston, Alabama. Amen. And we come for no other purpose but to lift and to praise the name of Jesus. Amen. And we want to uh, say happy birthday to some people today. This week, Christy Oglesby will be celebrating her birthday on December the 26th. And Camry A.G. on December the 27th. They have birthdays this week. And our own sister Phyllis Matthews just had a birthday this week. And if we missed any, happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to all the blessed men and women of God. Minister Irma Aaron and Apostle Kamala Aaron, happy anniversary to you. They'll be having an anniversary this week on December the 23rd. We wish you many, many more blessed years of marriage and ministry and preaching and teaching the word of God. We thank God for his people. Amen. And we also want to remember the Hope family. Um, Pastor Otis Hope went to be with the Lord. Amen. And he's sitting at the feet of Jesus. Amen. And he's celebrating around the throne with the ones that have gone before us. And for anyone else, amen, that, that have their loved ones have gone on. We want you to know that we are praying for you. God is your strength. God is your help. God is your peace and your comforter. You are in our prayers. We're praying for you. Amen. Because that's what the word tells us to do. Pray ye one for another. So you're in our prayers. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. Let's crank up those horns. Amen. Put your hands together for the Lord and give God some praise. Amen. For he alone is worthy of the praise. God is so good. At this time, we're going to ask our own Elder Burt Young to come. Amen. And he's going to come with inspiration before Pastor Sunday. God bless you, Dr. Jennings. Uh, to my leader, my pastor, to my pastor, uh, to all the ministers of God. We bless God today. Ain't God good, church? How many know that God is good today? Come on and blow them horns and give God praise. Listen, the Bible declared that this is the day that the Lord has made. Hallelujah! I said God made this day for us to be here and for us to give God some praise and give God glory. Hallelujah. We ain't got time. Paul said, forgetting about those things that are behind, but I'm pressing toward the mark of the high calling in Christ Jesus. How many want to be what God wants them to be? Come on and give God some praise. How many want to do what God wants you to do? <laughs> give God some praise. He's worthy of your praise. He's a mighty God. He's an excellent God. He's a good God. He's a holy God. He's a righteous God. He's my God. He's your God. He is God that created the heavens and the earth. I bless him today and I give God glory today. Exalt him this morning, church. Exalt him this morning. He's worthy of your praise. He's worthy of your hand clap. He's worthy if we had 10,000 tongues that still wouldn't be enough to give God praise. Somebody shout hallelujah. Hallelujah. And David said, bless the Lord, O my soul, and all that is within me. Bless his holy name. The Lord is good. How many know that God is good? Ain't he good? Ain't he good? Somebody say it all the time. And all the time God is good. Hallelujah. Who 
wouldn't serve a God like this that wake you up in the morning? Who wouldn't serve a God like this when they get hungry and put food on your table? Who wouldn't serve a God like this when they get hungry and put a root on your head? What a mighty God we serve! What a mighty God we serve! He made us to give Him praise. He made us to glorify Him and to honor Him. We lift Him up today. Be blessed. Be encouraged. God is your strength. God is your deliverer. God is your provider. You may have finances, but God is the one that gives you the wealth. Hallelujah. He's the God that blesses you and provides for you. We thank God for our leader today. Thank God for the word that he has given to him for us today that we might be blessed and encouraged. Listen, today is a day that weights is going to be lifted. Today is a day that healing is going to be wrought in your life. I give it praise. Somebody put them home to give God praise. Shout hallelujah. Shout hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. And greatly to be praised. He's God alone. From generation to generation, he's God. We bless him and we magnify him. And David said, I look to the hill. I look to the hill from which cometh my help. My help come from the Lord who made the heaven and earth. Be encouraged, church. Be encouraged. We get ready to go into another year. Hallelujah. God has brought us this year. And he's getting ready to take us into another year. And next year will be better than this year. Hallelujah. I said next year will be better than this year. Bless him. And we praise him. Thank God for our leader, a great, wonderful man of God, Pastor Simmons. A great friend of mine. I know he's a friend of yours, but he's a friend of mine too. <laughs> Praise God. I'm obeying. I, I introduced the sermon, present the other, none other than our leader today, our shepherd, our angel of this house, none other than Pastor Willie Joe Simmons. Let's give him a hand. Come pray, sir. Come on. For the glorious God we serve. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. This is the day that the Lord has made. And we shall rejoice and be glad in it. Anybody out there rejoicing? Anybody out there lifting them up? Oh, magnify the Lord with me. And bless his holy name. He is worthy to be praised. Awesome God. Somebody say glory. glory. Hallelujah. From the rising of the sun. To the going down of the same, his name is worthy to be praised. Hallelujah. All day, 24-7, somebody said praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I had somebody say Merry Christmas. Said, yeah, you're going to have a great Christmas. I said, yes. Every day I celebrate Christ. Every day I celebrate Christ. I don't wait to no special day. Amen. I celebrate Christ. Praise God. He's given us those feast days that we ought to be celebrating and learning. And don't get this thing here mixed up, praise God, when people start uh, 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 wooing you into capitalism and spending your money. It's not about you spending your money. It's not about what presents you get. It's really about the present that he gave us. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son. Amen. Jesus is the best present. He is the reason for every day. Not just this season, 
But for every season, it is our Christ. Somebody say hallelujah. For the mighty God we serve. If you would just balance that, you won't get depressed about what's going on and what you got and what somebody gave you and what you can give somebody. It's not about that, praise God. If you want to give them something, give them Jesus. <laughs> hallelujah. <laughs> give them Jesus, praise God. You are the package. He's wrapped you all up, praise God. Be wrapped up and tied up in Jesus. Let somebody unwrap you, praise God. And you tell them about the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. He is our Savior. He is our Messiah. Somebody say hallelujah. Not only has he come and paid for our sins, but he is coming back. Somebody said praise the Lord. He is coming back, praise God. Amen. He's coming back for a church without spot or wrinkle, praise God. Hallelujah. I'm excited about that, praise God. Amen. He's going to establish his kingdom on this earth. I thank God for that, praise God. Are you ready today? Are you ready for the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords? His kingdom is here now. You can move into it now. You can step into it now. Just call upon his name. Somebody ought to say, Jesus. Hallelujah. Forgive me for my sin. Come into my life. Make me whole and establish me in your kingdom. Show me who I am in you. And then I'll not hunger, nor thirst no more. Is there anybody out there hungry? Is there anybody out there thirsty? Somebody said, praise the Lord. Come to the river and drink. Come to the water and drink. Come to the river and drink full, praise God. This mighty God, this holy God is poured out of himself. His blood has made us clean. Hallelujah. Somebody say praise his name. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you for your holiness and your righteousness. Thank you for your blood, praise God. Thank you for the cross. The Lamb of Glory, John, John said. Behold, the Lamb of Glory that taketh away the sins of the world. The sins of the world have been paid for. All sin has been paid for. It's already been paid for. All you got to do is accept the prize. Accept the gift. Accept the gift that you coming together to celebrate. They commercialized and commercialized this thing so much that the people have forgotten what we're celebrating. But we're celebrating Jesus, hallelujah, King of kings and the Lord of lords, the one that standeth in the midst of the seven candlesticks, praise God, hallelujah, the one that illuminates the world and say he is the light of the world. We celebrate Jesus. The greatest gift that's ever been given to anybody is Jesus. Somebody say glory. Glory, 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 glory. Father, we thank you for your love and your kindness and your blessings today. Thank you for your people. Thank you for the opportunity to come out. Thank you for this beautiful day. This is the day that the Lord has made and we shall rejoice and be glad in it. Thank you, Jesus. For those riding up and down the street, East Broad, Beacon, all over the city, praise God. Every preach man and every priest woman that's mounting the pulpit today, praise God. Hallelujah, Lord. Let them speak Christ and Him alone, praise God. Let them let the people know that the Messiah has come, sins have been paid for, and now we have to have the knowledge of Him. Amen. To come into this great marvelous light that you can walk out of the darkness of your life and step into the light today. In Jesus' name, amen. Somebody say praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Today I want to share a little bit, praise God, amen. Normally, normally we're exalting, amen, in this atmosphere here. But... Today I want you to turn over to John, St. John, hallelujah, first chapter, and we want to read a little bit out of that, it started with me in our Sunday school today, praise God, amen, and uh, we were talking about light, we were talking about uh, what, what is light, what is truth, praise God, amen. But we want you to know what truth is today and what light is today, praise God. Amen. The Word of God says in chapter 1, verse 1 of St. John, In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. The same was in the beginning with God. 
All things were made by him, and without him was not anything made that was made. And in him was life, and the life was the light of men. And the light shineth in darkness, and the darkness comprehended it not. Somebody say hallelujah. 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 The darkness couldn't put out this light. I heard the other week, by amen, evangelist, praise God, told us about it about a fire that could be put out. I'm talking about a light today that could be put out, praise God. The darkness couldn't do nothing with this light, praise God. Amen. And when we when we we, we talk about uh, 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 when you look for truth and you, you, you're trying to find out what is light, light is purpose. Somebody say hallelujah. When you, when you understand purpose, then you've come into light. If, if I had a bike sitting here, praise God, amen, and nobody knew what that bike was, amen, and didn't know what it was to be used for until somebody sat on that bike and began to ride, and then we would say, oh, that's what it's for. And we would see, amen, the glory of that bike because the bike was being used for purpose. We are born in sin and shaped in iniquity. We are born in darkness, not understanding who we are, where we came from, and what we are to be doing. And so everything that we do, praise God, all the groping and moving and, 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 and all the sin that we've gotten into, praise God, we don't understand, amen, that we, we, what we're looking for is purpose. Everybody say purpose. Purpose, praise God. Purpose, praise God. Amen. Purpose is why something is. Purpose is what? Why something is. So the question we should be asking ourselves today, amen, if, you, if you're trying to find truth, ask yourself why. Why am I? Why am I here? Why am I here at this time? Why and what am I to be doing? The answer to those questions is it will lead you to the light. Somebody say glory. glory. So you have to understand why. You know, you look at, a, at, a, at an automobile and you say, well, what is an automobile first? Until somebody gets in it, turns the key, cranks it up, and begins to drive it from one destination to another, amen, you don't have no idea of what it's for. But the moment you see the purpose fulfilled, somebody said purpose fulfilled. The moment you see the purpose fulfilled, then you understand, amen, then you've come into the light or the glory of that particular thing. So when we look at mankind, when we look at ourselves, we have to wonder, why me? Why am I here? What am I to be doing, praise God, amen? There has to be purpose. I didn't crawl out of some ditch. I'm not some ape that used to swing around on trees, praise God. But I came from an all-knowing, all-seeing, all-purposeful God. Somebody said, praise God. He said, I was made in his image, praise God. Amen. God made me in his image and in his likeness. And he made me for purpose. So when I ask myself, why, praise God, amen, I'm looking for light. Anybody out here looking for light? Are you hungry? You're thirsty? Amen. You, it, it, it's not about how much money you got. It's not about what present you get. It's not about what you drive or where you wear or what you eat, praise God. But it's about light today. It's about purpose. It's about understanding who you are. And you cannot find that without first looking for where you came from. I said you didn't crawl out of a ditch. I said you didn't just pop up somewhere, praise You wasn't an amoeba or a blob somewhere, praise God. But you came from the heart of God, the creator of all things. Somebody said praise the Lord. Praise Hallelujah. Lord. Praise God. Amen. Praise God. Uh, uh, this, this light that we're looking for, it says, it says, and the light shineth. It says, all things were made by him. All things were made by him. All things were what? Made by him. If it was made by him, it was made for a purpose. If it was made by him, it was made for what? It was made for a purpose. For God has, 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 has created this earth that he would establish his kingdom upon this earth. Amen? Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. God is moving out of the, out of the spiritual realm 
into the scene realm. God is moving his kingdom. God is establishing his kingdom here on the earth. Somebody say here on the earth. What a mighty God we serve. His kingdom, his way of doing things, his righteousness, his peace, his joy, praise God. Amen. The word of God says the kingdom of God is righteousness and peace and joy in the Holy Ghost. Somebody said praise the Lord. We said, well, I don't see that here, brother. Praise God. Amen. But God has come and established it in the hearts of men. He's coming to what? Establish it in the hearts of men. Praise God. Luke 17, 2 says, the kingdom of God is within. I said, the kingdom of God is where? It's within. Praise God. That righteousness, that peace, and that joy is inside of everyone that is called upon the name of Jesus. Now, you have to let it manifest. You have to overrule your old ways. You have to overrule your thoughts and your patterns and how it was and how you walked and what, 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 what people have told you that was lies. You have to overrule that and begin to find it in the Word of God. The Word of God is light. He says it is light. It lights your path. It lights your steps. It orders your steps, the Word of God. So you have to find it in the Word of God, praise God. Somebody say hallelujah. hallelujah. Romans 14, 17 said the kingdom of God is righteousness, peace, and joy in the Holy Ghost. I don't know about you, praise God, but I want to see a righteousness, right relationship, right relationship with my Father, praise God. Hallelujah, praise God. When you look at the Ten Commandments, praise God, you'll see, praise God, that the first part of it, it orders your attention towards reverencing God. The next part of it, praise God, it reverences your attention. It orders your attention to how you handle your neighbor. It says, love your neighbor as yourself. Somebody say glory. So you got to love God, you got to love your neighbor, and you got to love yourself. You got to love what God's doing in your life. All things, praise God, were made by him and created by him for him. So all the things, praise God, amen, that God has created, he has created it with the kingdom of God in mind. This righteousness, this peace, and this joy to overrule here on the earth. Somebody say hallelujah. hallelujah. Amen, praise God, amen. We were born in sin and shaped in iniquity. And because of that, amen, we were born lost. We were born in darkness. We were not born in light. We were born in darkness, praise God. Amen. We were handled by fallen people. Amen. Man has fallen since the time of Adam. Amen. Praise God. Amen. Man has fallen. We're born in a fallen condition. We all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. And so what you're looking for in that bottle, you're looking, praise God, for peace. What you're looking for in that drug, in that pill, what you're looking for spending your money. People are going to be in the stores in the next few weeks. They're going to be spending their money like crazy, praise God. But they're looking for peace. They're looking for joy. And the only place you can find it is in a person called Jesus Christ. Somebody say hallelujah. 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 Why, why spend money for that that won't quench your thirst? And why spend all your money for that that won't, get, won't satisfy your hunger? Amen. He is the bread of life. He is the living water. Somebody say glory. Because when you find him, you find purpose. When you find him, you find purpose. Amen. In that scripture, it, said that was, it says that uh, uh, that that he was not the, John said he was not the light, but was sent to bear witness of that light in verse 8. Verse 9 said, that was the true light which lighteth every man that cometh into to the world. Yes. He was in the world, and the world was made by him, and the world knew him not. Listen, now, the author and the finisher, the king of kings, the lord of lords, the alpha and omega. Somebody said glory. Glory, glory, glory. He was in the world, but the world didn't know him, did not know him. They did not recognize him, praise God. And he's, as he walked, he walked as an example of who we are to be. Yeah. Huh, hallelujah. He walked what? As an example of what we are to do. Somebody said, praise God. Praise God. Amen. God come, come, enrobed himself in flesh and walked on this earth as
as a man, praise God, amen, walking as a son. Walking as a what? As an obedient son. Somebody say glory. An obedient son of God. That's who you were born to be. That's who you are. That's why you're here. And anytime you walk in anything other than that, then you're in darkness, praise God. Hallelujah. But the light is to know who you are. The light of the purpose is that you are born to be sons of God. You are born, praise God, hallelujah, praise God, to, to be obedient to the Spirit of God. You are born to be led by the Spirit of God. The Word of God says they that are led by the Spirit of God, they are the sons of God. God wants us to grow up. He wants us to acknowledge Him, praise God, amen. And as we acknowledge Him, confess our, our faults, our sins, amen, and ask Him to come in our life, recognize who He is, he, he wants us to come willingly to him. Upon hearing this word, call upon the name of the Lord. If you're in the living room, if you're in the den, if you're riding up and down East Brown, Megan, call upon the name of the Lord. Call upon Jesus. He has mercy upon us, praise God. He will enter into your life. He's waiting on you. The word of God says he's knocking at the door of your heart with every word that I'm speaking. He's knocking at the door of your heart. Amen. He's saying, praise God, why are you searching for peace anywhere else but him? He is the joy. He is the peace. He is the, 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 the righteousness of God, praise God, is in him. And so when you find Jesus, you find the righteousness of God or the right relationship with God. That's what righteousness is. Righteousness is right relationship. You cannot come to your father any other, kind of, other, other way except as a son. You cannot become a son without acknowledging his son, Jesus Christ. But upon acknowledging him, you become a son of God. The spirit of the living God comes to live on the inside of you. And then he begins to renew your mind. He begins to carry you through some life-changing experience where you will begin to understand what your purpose is, what God has called you for. He's called you to be led by his spirit. Somebody say hallelujah. hallelujah. We were purchased and bought. Isaiah 53 said, with the stripes, with his stripes, we were healed or made back one with our Father. By his stripes, you were healed. You think of it, most people think of it only as a physical sin. But listen to me. God came to make you whole, spirit, soul, and body. I said what? He came to make you whole, spirit, soul, and body. In that order. In that order. Spirit first, soul next, body, amen, will follow. Somebody say glory. glory. Hallelujah. Amen. The inner man first, praise God, has to be healed. Then the soul begins to be renewed. And then the body begins to be ordered. Amen. By the Spirit of God. God will order your steps. Luke 4, 18 said, He sent, amen, He sent to heal the brokenhearted. If your heart's broken today, I don't care how many presents you get or buy, it won't fix your heart. I don't care how much money you spend or get, it will not fix your heart. I don't care what you drive, where you wear, what you wear, nor where you live. It will not fix your heart. You can't buy your way into this thing, but you can believe your way into it. Somebody say glory. Psalm 107, 20 says, he sent his word and healed us. When you hear the word of God, this word of peace, this word of joy, this word of reconciliation, this word that says God loves you. I'm here to tell you, you're looking for love, but you can't buy love. You're looking for love, praise God, amen, uh, in all the wrong places. But God loves you today. You are loved by the Creator. You are desired by the Creator. He is calling you. He is pursuing you. This word is going out across the atmosphere right now, and it's changing things, praise God. Somebody say hallelujah. 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 Romans 5 and 9 said we're justified by the blood, praise God. Life is in the blood. Life is in the blood. When in, in, in your blood, my blood, I don't care what color you are, we're all the same color, we're all the same in the blood. 
I don't care what nationality you are, we're all the same in the blood. Your blood's the same, just like mine. Well, in your blood, there is your life. The history of your life is in your blood. Your blessings and your cursings are in the blood. It's in your blood. It's in your blood. So my, if we all were born in sin and shaped in iniquity, your blood couldn't satisfy the sin debt for me. My blood can't satisfy the sin debt for you. Praise God. It took the blood of the spotless Lamb of God, Jesus Christ, on the cross, shedding his blood, innocent blood, blood that had no sin in it. And that blood, praise God, hallelujah. I said that blood was shed for you. Tell your neighbor, call somebody, say, hey, that was a blood that was shed for you. That you might have the right to the tree of life upon, upon believing in it and trusting. What am I believing? That Jesus Christ and his righteousness, praise God, his blood, it paid for all sin. That's how powerful this blood was. One drop, praise God, paid for all sin. Somebody say hallelujah. hallelujah. Sins are paid for. That's good news. Anybody looking for good news? You want to hear? <laughs> Hey, it ain't about Santa Claus nor Rudolph. It's about the blood of Jesus. I said, what? It's not about Santa Claus nor Rudolph. These pagan gods, pagan attitudes, praise God, amen. We've taken so many things from the, from the, from the dark side of the world and tried to bring it into the light side of the world. You're trying to mix up stuff, praise God. This is about Jesus. Yes. Somebody say hallelujah. 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 Hebrew 9.14 said the blood purged our, our consciousness from dead works. It purged our, it will purge your, 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 your understanding of this life being so powerful in this package. I don't know what kind of package you got under your tree. Amen. But this package who hung from a tree, amen, the blood of Jesus, the blood of God himself was packaged in this body. And that blood was shed for you and I. We should celebrate it every day from the rising of the sun to the going down of the same. If we understood what a gift he was or what a gift he is, and we come to present that gift today to this community in the name of Jesus. His name is Jesus. Huh, some, somebody say hallelujah. Yeshua, Hamashiach, he is the Messiah, the soon coming king. He came as a lamb. He paid for our sins, but he's not coming back as a lamb. He's coming back as the king of kings and the Lord of lords. Somebody say hallelujah. He's going to sit on this throne. He's going to rule this earth for a thousand years. And I don't know about you, but I want to I want to I want to sit with him. I want to be at his throne. I want to be there at his right hand. I want to be in this kingdom. Somebody say hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. First Peter 1, 18 through 19 said we were redeemed by the blood of Jesus. You were bought back. You are somebody. Basically, praise God, the preciousness of something is determined by what it costs. Did you hear me? Whatever the cost is determine how precious it is. I don't care who fired you who don't like you, who wouldn't hire you, who wouldn't accept you, what they said about you. I don't care if it was your mom or your daddy that rejected you, praise God. God accepts you by the blood of Jesus Christ. And he so loved you that he came to redeem you. He came and found you. You didn't find him. He found you. I said, you didn't find him. He found you. He came where you are. This word is coming to wherever you are right now. In the name of Jesus. Somebody say amen. 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 So once we find purpose, we find light. Amen. Amen. He is the light of the world. 
or he is the purpose of the world, or he is the truth. I heard somebody say, well, Michael Jordan, he was the truth. And I heard somebody say, Donald Trump, he was the truth. And somebody said, this one was, listen to me, ain't but one truth, and that's Jesus Christ and his righteousness. Ain't but one truth, that is the blood, praise God, that, that flowed from Calvary. It's still cleansing. It's still healing. It's still delivering. It's still buying us back. Somebody say glory. And he has put it in these vessels of earthly clay. And your job is, if you don't understand who you are, you have become a part of that light right now. And that light shines on you, uh, shines through you. The word of God says you are the light of the world. He has put that light on the inside of you. And you are to let it shine. Somebody said, this little light of mine, I'm going to let it shine. Not going to make it shine, just going to let it shine. I'm going to shine it on from the rooftop. I'm going to shine it down in the mall. I'm going to shine it down East Road and, and up and down Megan. I'm going to shine it on my job. I'm going to shine it in my home. Let this light shine. The character of Christ is the light of God shining through you. Your forgiveness, your long suffering, your patience, your righteousness, your faith, your hope in the middle of this pandemic situation. That's a light. When people see you, get your head up. Raise up your countenance. Stiffen up your back. Walk up, praise God. I don't care, praise God. God's going to make a way for you. He's going to supply for you. He's going to be there for you. Somebody said, praise the Lord. And as being that light, praise God, amen, you are the light of the world. You are the ambassadors for our Christ. Somebody said, hallelujah. You represent this kingdom now. This kingdom is greater than the mall and the gifts and the money and the Santa Claus and the Rudolph and all of that. This truth is greater. And if you know this truth, you have the most valuable gift in the world. Somebody say hallelujah. hallelujah. So we come to tell, we, we come to share. But John, uh, John said, John said, I'm not the Christ. No, I'm not the Christ. Don't get it confused. Don't get it twisted. Joe Simmons is not the Christ. But I'm just one crying in the wilderness. And I'm here to tell somebody about this King, this Lord. This God that loves us and what he has done for us. What has he done? He has paid the way. He has paid for our sins. I don't care what you've done. I don't care where you've been. You can get up out of your mess and you can come to him. He said, I will in no wise cast you out. Somebody said hallelujah. Hallelujah. Look at your neighbor and say, neighbor, you are the light of the world. Christ in you, the hope of glory. That same anointing that was in him, because you have Paul on his name, that anointing is in you. Amen. If you're in your home, say Jesus. Hallelujah. If you're riding up and down the street, say Jesus. If you're out in the lot, blow your horn and say Jesus. Jesus. Hallelujah, the light of the world. Hallelujah. Let the world know what they celebrate. And let them know it doesn't just happen on December the 25th. But it's every day. Every day the blood's still seeking. It's still running. It, the truth is still going forth. The word is still knocking on doors. Every day, every day, our God. Is, is, is coming to find. He's seeking to save that which was lost. I once was lost, but now I'm found. I once was blind, but now I see. I can see because he came for me. And today he's coming to you. The word of God says, the day you hear his voice, harden not your heart. Did you hear the word? Did you hear the word? Did you hear the word? Your sins are paid for. Did you hear that word? You accepted in the beloved. Did you hear that word? You are somebody. Did you hear the word of God says, I love you. God loves you. If you don't feel love, God loves you. It's because you don't, you haven't really turned to the one who can really share love with you. If somebody's left you and if, if somebody's broken your heart, praise God, call on the Lord. He'll never let you down. He'll never leave you. 
nor forsake you. Now, saints, I challenge you, let the world know what the true meaning of every day is. Every day is a Sabbath. Every day is the day of the redeemed. Every day you are somebody because of who loves you. God loves you and he accepts you. Tell your children, tell your family, tell your neighbor, tell all of those that are around you, praise God, amen, about this great gift that has been given to the world. Jesus Christ, our Messiah, our anointed one, our King of kings, and our Lord of lords. In Jesus' name, in Jesus' name, in Jesus' name. Somebody say, in Jesus' name. You're the light of the world. God bless you. Praise the Lord, everybody. Praise the Lord, everybody. Amen. Joy to the world. I say, joy to the world. Hallelujah. We have a Savior. Amen. Amen. We thank God for the word today. Man, what an awesome word. Amen. 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 We thank God for his precious gift. Amen. His precious gift that he gave to us. He wrapped him in swaddling clothes. Amen. Wrapped him in swaddling clothes. Amen. Praise be to God. We just, we just uh, overjoyed today. We thank God for this uh, Christmas Sunday. Amen. Glory to God. We just give God all the praise and all the glory. Amen. So be encouraged and and remember, remember the, the reason for the season. Amen. The reason is Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. As Pastor said, it's not about what you got or what you're going to get. Amen. Put Jesus under that tree. Better yet, put him in your heart. Amen. Amen. Don't put him under the tree. Put him in your heart. Amen. 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 Glory to God. We just thank God for you today. Thank God for our Sunday school. Uh, I just want to give a shout out and a, and a get well quick to our own Sister Hazel Robinson. We miss you, Sister Hazel. Amen. Get well soon. We miss you. Amen. We just want to bless bless the name of the Lord and, 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 and uh, wish everybody a, a, a pleasant and, and, a, and, a, and a peaceful and a joyous day. Amen. To God be the glory. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you.